Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you guys um, my first actual subscription. So everyone knows about subscription boxes and things like that. You can order um, for a monthly fee a subscription and they will send you makeup, hair stuff, just a whole bunch of beauty stuff. So I finally decided that I was going to jump on the bandwagon, bandwagon and subscribe to something. So. Um, I'd been thinking about it for a long time. I actually was going to do it but when I was back in college, but I didn't have extra money to just be giving away every month. But now that I'm out of school, um, I decided, you know, why not try a subscription box, especially considering I do my channel now and things that I can share with you guys. And also because I'm always looking for new things and sometimes it's just not as easy to go into the store and just find something. So, subscription it is. So I did my research and, you know, based on what I wanted to pay and things like that, I came upon Ipsy. And I think Ipsy may have been one of the first subscriptions um, out there and one of the most reputable. So I decided to go with Ipsy. Now, my concerns, first of all, going into this process, one of my concerns was um, I am obviously a lady of color with natural hair. So as far as the hair and skincare products were the samples going to be something that would be something I could use um, were the hair products going to be things that I could use like I didn't want to waste my money now granted you can get an Ipsy subscription for only ten dollars which isn't a bad price at all so either way I didn't feel like I was losing anything however I still wanted the products that I was going to receive be something that I could potentially use so um with that being said, I do know that there are other subscription boxes, one of which being We Are Onyx, which is one that um, caters towards women of color. But I think that one's like $29.99 a month or close to $30 a month. And compared to the $10 Ipsy subscription, no, I'm not I'm not going to do that right now. My life is not set up in a way that I can just be giving away $30 a month for a subscription. I mean, really. $30 is a lot, but the difference between the Ipsy bag and that bag is just like um, $20. But y'all know $20 can go a long way. That's like two Chipotle bowls or um, five gallons of gas. Gas is high. Like there's just other things that I could be doing with that $20 extra dollar. So like I said, Ipsy was the best choice. So I subscribed in last July. Um, yeah, this last July, like last month, and um, the subscription process went pretty quickly. Like, you're put on a waiting list, and I think I was on the waiting list for maybe a week, and then I was off the waiting list, and then um, they said that they'd be sending out my box. And um, one thing about Ipsy is that on the website, there is a forum where um, the ladies discuss, you know, their experience and what they didn't like. You can even trade products if you didn't like a product that you received, things like that. So I went into the forum just so I can get an idea of how people felt about their boxes. I say boxes, boxes, bags, subscription, and um, things like that. So I got an idea that my first bag would probably not be specifically catered towards me. I guess your first bag is kind of just like a, uh, a preliminary type of thing that just sends you whatever and then your next bags after that are supposed to be a little bit better so I had that in mind so I was my expectations weren't particularly high for this bag but I was still excited to get it and um, also as far as like shipping and things like that it shipped relatively quickly it came through DHL and um, it came with tracking so I knew when it was coming and all that kind of stuff which was great so that's how it ended up on Ipsy and also um, if you review your products on Ipsy and things like that you can gain Ipsy points which in turn could lead to free products so it just seemed like the whole business was something that I could take advantage of so um, yeah let me just share with you guys what I got the actual uh, package came in this pink ba um, bag which is really cute a cute little metallic pink shipping bag and once I opened it up, I got my products. So this particular month, the month of August, back to school month, and so rightfully so, um, Ipsy this month was the beauty schooled, which um, do, 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 um, just based on back to school and things like that. So um, the actual bag, 
look like this. It's a cute polka dot bag, orange and white polka dot bag. And um, <laughs> one thing I was thinking though, was like, what am I gonna do with all these bags? And like, someone asked that on one of the forums as well. And one of the girls was like, I just carry my pencils and stuff in it, which is true, you know. Girls are always in need of another bag. So this is me, this is what I got. So um, my bag came with five sample products. Um, and I have tried all of these products in the past week and a half, ex all except for one. And I'll explain why one of them didn't get um, tried by myself in a minute. So the first thing that I received was this Coastal Scents sample palette. You can tell that I have used it. Um, four colors, um, Antique Lilac, Wisteria Lemon Chiffon, and Raspberry Tart. Um, my favorite of these colors is the Deep Purple which I believe is the Wisteria. But um, this palette was pretty cool. I mean, it, it literally is a sample size. It's tiny. You can tell by how it's compared to my hand. But um, I tried it on one day um, on a Saturday when I had lots of things to do. I was volunteering and things like that. So I wanted to see how it hold up. And it, hold, it held up pretty well. I actually got compliments on the eyeshadow look that I did. So I appreciated that sample. Will I be buying for Coastal Scents outside of the subscription? I don't know, possibly. I mean, it's eyeshadow. And I usually keep my um, eyeshadow fairly simple. Even though these um, these purplish tones aren't terrible, um, they're just not something I would wear day to day. And so, I don't know. But either way, I enjoyed being able to try out those products either way. So yes, the Coastal Scents um, Sample Palette um, Set 7 is what I got. Another thing that I got, and this product is actually my favorite out of the bunch. Um, I wear this every day maybe because I'm a lip girl, like I like my lips to feel good. Um, so it is the Jersey Shore Sun Mongongo Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner which is USDA Organic Blase Blase. And this is the flavor Mandarin Green Orange Ginger. Ginger. That's a lot. Mandarin Orange Green Ginger. But surprisingly enough, it tastes like everything it says. Oops, I see. Yeah. Woo, there it is. So yeah, I love this stuff. It smells... I don't know how to explain it. You know how um, fresh limes and fresh oranges smell when you first cut them? It smells just like that. It's so nice. I carry it, and you guys know I rave and rant about my... Um, my Burt's Bees um, Tinted Lip Moisturizer, and it stays in my purse. That particular lip thing stays in my purse, and I just carry it with me. Well, this is next to it now. I carry it every day, and I love it. I'm so happy I got this, and then when I looked online for its retail price, I think its retail price is like less than $5, so I absolutely love it. I love lip conditioners or lip balms that saturate the lips and just don't sit on top of your lips you know like it feels like it melts into your skin and like it's actually doing something and so that's why I love this it like melts into your lips um it says it's anti-aging I don't know what makes it anti-aging but I know that it feels good so this thing was a winner I am so glad that this was in my particular bag and I will be repurchasing this um once this is out because I love it like it compares to my Burt's Bees. It's not tinted or anything like that, so you don't get color from it. But what you do get is an amazing um, coverage and amazing feel. So I love that. Okay, so the third thing that I got was um, this Sheer Glow Sample. And it's from Mana Beauty Simplified. This is a shimmer lotion. Um, so yeah, Manaka... MonacaDarkCosmetics.com is where you could purchase this particular product and like I said it is a sheer glow a shimmer lotion um, and it says that you can either wear it um, on your skin directly or you can um, mix it with your foundation so that's what I decided to do I mix it in with my foundation let me show you guys what it looks like on the skin oops I did the most that squeeze but can you guys see the shimmer 
yes so it's a light shimmer lotion it worked but I, I used it both ways actually I originally used it with my foundation I blended in with my foundation and um, it did okay but for me it worked better when applied directly onto the skin like you know tops of your cheekbones and my you know places you want to highlight all that good stuff so the Mana Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion um, one of the better products that I received will I be repurchasing probably not because I have something similar to this that I love so much more it's my Smashbox skin illuminator and I love that stuff that stuff I love so this just doesn't compare to that but it was nice to, to, um, to see a different shimmer lotion and see what it could do so that was okay the fourth thing that I received is something that I really like and you know how Ipsy will actually do, uh, what's it called, previews of the things that are going to be in their boxes. And this was on one of their previews and I saw it and I was like, oh, I really hope I get that. And I did. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil in Plushie, which is a pretty purple. So coincidentally enough, I'll see. Yeah. Coincidentally, because my palette sampler was purple and my eyeliner that I got the plushy was purple I decided to do like a smoky eye look with this with the palette and this combined and it turned out pretty good like when I tested it that's what how I tested it and so this stuff when it says 24 7 it means 24 7 like it is going to be on all day it will not come off like it will not come off I'm rubbing it right now and it came off a little bit but other than that it will stay it smudges really nicely so if you're looking for like a smudgier feel to things this does a good job of it and it's just so nice urban decay is an amazing line of makeup products anyway so I was excited to hear that they were going to be in the subscription box so yes the urban decay 24 7 velvet glide on eye pencil is this something that I'll be repurchasing probably um, Maybe not in this color. Um, purple is not something that I use, but it's a dark purple, so it kind of did the effect of like any of my dark brown or black eyeliners anyway. But yes, for this product itself, not necessarily this color, but this product, yes, I would repurchase it. I think it was a great sample, and I'm glad I got this in my box as well. So my last thing that I got in my box, and this is why I was worried about hair products because again I cannot certain things I cannot use on my hair or if I could I wouldn't use because of the things that are in it or I just wouldn't know how to use it and this is one of those things that I just honest to goodness don't know how I would use or why I would use it so it is the um, it's a dry shampoo um, and the wording is in French y'all so what it says precisely I don't know but it is the um, chlorine laboratories dry shampoo extra just dry shampoo with oat milk I have not tried this because I don't know I uh, I don't wash my hair that often anyway I wash my hair every two weeks deep condition wash all that kind of stuff every two weeks so and in, in between that I'll retwist my hair up and things like that so I don't really I don't shampoo my hair a lot so in dry shampoo I'm just not sure how I would use this so if anyone knows if there's a natural out there and you use dry shampoo please let me know in what circumstance do you use something like that and how do you use it effectively um, uh, this is a flammable product so it includes butane and propane and all sorts of things that I can't read which we all know if you can't read it you probably shouldn't be putting it on your hair so I don't know I just don't know I want so badly to like this product because I think it's a cool idea a dry shampoo so I was thinking maybe after I work out and my roots are wet I can spray the dry, dry shampoo on and it'll clear up my roots like I don't know and I don't go combing through my hair all the time so is it going to provide a residue that I can't shake out of my curls like it's too many questions and not enough answers when it comes to this product in natural hair so I don't know again let me know in the comments below if you know what the heck to do with dry shampoo 
and you'll twist out or you'll braid out or you're washing go let me know because I just I don't have the answer so I'm sorry Ipsy but this was a fail for me because I don't know what to do with this so yeah so that completes my first Ipsy review I'm actually going to continue my subscription because three out of the five products I feel like I already purchased and I actually enjoyed using and I feel like for ten dollars that is a steal in my opinion so um, I'll probably do a couple more months subscriptions hopefully my bag will get better and be more personalized and if not y'all there are plenty of other subscriptions that I'm willing to try so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.